First it was Randy Etzel, then it was Steve Sarkeesian, and finally the head ball coach Steve Spurrier. Three coaching vacancies that have schools scrambling. So let's bring in our business insider, Christy Dosh. And Christy, how much does it cost schools when a coach is let go or resigns, and what is the cost to replace them? Let's just say that there are search firms across the country who are really excited about all these vacancies. It can be very expensive when you use one of these search firms. Texas spent almost $300,000 on a search firm to help them hire Charlie Strong. So certainly a good day for search firms. Schools like South Carolina, I think, have to be a little worried about what happens to donations, too. Beloved coaches can have a huge impact on revenue from donations. Interesting. Well, let's switch gears here to another topic. Food, something I particularly <laughs> like. Uh, unlimited meals literally on the table for college athletes now. So what can you tell us about how schools have upgraded their offerings? It's a good time to be a student athlete from a food perspective, for sure. I was looking at Nebraska's menu for this week. Their student athletes were going to get pork loin as one of their choices one day, blackened shrimp pasta another day. So I'm sort of rethinking my four years of eligibility I have left. I might have to go check it out. Arkansas with a really neat feature, too. I saw pictures this morning of their grab and go, where they've literally got these walk up windows student athletes can head to to pick up meals between classes. This is what I need. I need this in my life <laughs> now as well. Uh, from food to fashion, the Buckeyes will wear all black uniforms for the first time in program history when Ohio State takes on Penn State. Who benefits monetarily from schools wearing alternate uniforms, Chrissy? You know, I think it's really all about recruiting. A lot of these jerseys and uniform combinations aren't even available for consumption by the public. I talked to Texas A&M today. They told me they do two alternate uniforms a year. Only one of those is made available to the public. So it really is more of a recruiting tool. Schools don't make that much money off of jerseys. Uh, Texas A&M, as of a couple of years ago, was only making around $60,000 a year off of jersey sales. So definitely more of a recruiting tool than anything. Interesting. Well, you can see those black uniforms at 7 p.m. Saturday from the shoe. Christy Dosh, thanks so much for the time. We'll catch up with you soon. Thanks for having me. And for all things college sports, just stay right here. CampusInsiders.com.